Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Activities. And today's activity is going to be another magic trick because they've proven so popular. This magic trick is known as the Magic Imp Bottle. And this rather jaundiced looking magician is going to make this bottle stand up when nobody else can through the power of magic, through the secret of toys. This guy, or me, I, you, we, we will know the trick by the end of this video to how to make this stand up as if by magic. But let's take a look at the packaging for a real quick second. Um, I was looking at this and I, I noticed they, they actually, yeah, they colored this guy yellow, which I guess was supposed to make it look kind of retro, like it came from the 50s or 40s, or uh, it just kind of looks like he has hepatitis. And <laughs> it's so long ago. I want to say, yay to the company who actually spent the time writing out the choking warning. Rather than just, you know, before they actually could just stamp a little square on there. Uh, I think this is really pre-computer kind of printing. Why do I say that? Because, look, this comes from the past. It comes from 1996. And actually, surprisingly, it's our good friends at Forum. Yet again. And even then, they were making things in China. Item number. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's open this up. And I'm not going to time myself. I actually looked at the uh, the back of this packaging anyway, which I'm not showing you yet because uh, I was just reading the back of the packaging, and that's where the secret was. So this this will be a pretty quick video, I think, if I can remember how this works. We'll just uh, destroy the collectible value there on this nostalgic card back here. Which actually is good because anybody else who actually has this toy, uh, I've made it one more rare. This to uh, 1996, it's 2013 right now. If you want to do the math yourself, you can figure out just how vintage a uh, product this is. So the idea here is that, uh, will it stand up? Yes, it will stand up. But somehow, if I give it to you, it won't stand up. Now, why is that? Oh my gosh, it... I mean, it will stand up. Wait. So it won't stand up. Okay, there's a piece of metal. <laughs> I did not do a good job hiding, taking it out. There's a piece of metal in there. So I guess I could put the... Well, because if it's a piece of metal, then it should... You know what? I don't know how this trick works. I think it's supposed to stand up when... See, that? that's not a good trick. Uh... <laughs> Holding the metal out halfway through it. Ah. Uh, Ta-da! No, because I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so let's look again at the packaging. The packaging says, uh, only make, you can make it lie down. Only I can make it lie down. So I guess you're supposed to give this metal rod, hey, use the metal rod. It'll, you can make it lie down. But you can't. But you can. Ah. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm supposed to somehow sneak this in there. You know what? This is kind of... Will it lay down? It won't lay down. Really? It won't lay down for you, but I will sneakily put that big shiny piece of metal in there that you won't notice, and I will make it lay down. Sometimes. Once in a while. Because it's sticking out. I, I don't know. I mean, is there supposed to be a, a cap on there? Here's the secret. Let's read the secret together for once. Uh... No. See, right? Because it's saying, put the rod in it, and that's going to make it work. That sucks. You know, Forum, you've come a really long way. Your, your, your magic smoke, although I couldn't see it on camera, was a fine, fine piece of material. I have a lifetime supply now with that tube. Ah, I'm, I'm just disappointed. It's just really obvious. I, I, I don't know who's going to be fooled by this. You can see the metal no matter what. It's obvious you put... I am, I am not magician enough to make this trick work. If somebody out there can make this trick work in some sort of a dramatic fashion, send me an email. I'll send you this toy and you can make your own video. 
But if you like this video for some reason, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. If you're subscribed already and you hit the subscribe button, it'll make you unsubscribe, so don't do that. I also like comments. I'd love to know that you shared this video or linked it on some page. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. It's Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!